Hey, welcome to edX World and another video in the AS A level accounting series. Firstly, I would like to wish every one of you a very happy and prosperous new year 2021, May 2021 be a better year than 2020. 2020 was full of difficulties, especially for students because schools were shut. You were not able to focus on your concepts properly. I hope 2021 is good for you. So today we have a video on the accounting for share issue to, and we will see what entries are passed at the time when shares are issued by companies. But before this video, I would want you to know all the basic concepts about limited companies. If you don't already know about them, you can watch my video on companies that is there in the IGCSE accounting playlist. The links will be given in the description box also. The basic video covered things like different types of companies, different types of shares, the, mean, the meaning of technical terms when it comes to capital structure and all of that. The calculation of dividend, the meaning of dividend. So I would suggest watch that video and then come to this video. It will be more interesting for you to understand this topic. So in this video, we will be studying the terminology related to share issue. Then what journal entries are passed at the time when shares are issued at par. We will then complicate it by understanding journal entries at the time of shares issued at premium. From the exam point of view, you will have to prepare ledger accounts, especially for Cambridge accounting. But I do not personally suggest directly jumping onto the ledger accounts. I would love to teach you the basic journal entries first. And if you know the journal entries, preparing ledger accounts is not difficult at all. So first, let us understand some important technical terms related to share issue. First, we have the par value of a share. The par value of a share is also the nominal value or the face value. That is the value of the share in the books of the company. Company can issue the shares at face value and when it does so, the issue is said to be done at par. Shares are said to be issued at par. Share premium is the value of the share over and above the face value. It is not necessary for a company to sell its shares only at par. It can sell it at a price much higher than the par value. So whatever is the difference between the issue price and the face value or the par value that is known as the share premium. So whenever the company issues its shares at a price higher than the face value or the par value, the issue is said to be done at premium. Shares are said to be issued at premium. See when a company offers to public its shares, it may offer a certain number of shares, but it is not necessary that it receives subscriptions for exactly the same number of shares. It may receive subscriptions for lower number of shares. And in most cases, a company would receive subscriptions for higher number of shares. Such a situation is known as over subscription of shares. In this case, the company cannot allot shares to everyone who has applied. The rule is you can at the most allot whatever the shares you've offered originally. So the extra applications will have to be rejected by the company and the money related to that will have to be refunded by the company. Then a company can allot shares and receive the entire value of the shares in one shot in lump sum or it can receive the amounts in installments. When the company decides to receive the amount in installments, the different installments are classified as application money. That's the installment or that's the amount that the shareholder pays at the time when he's applying for shares. The second installment is known as the allotment money that is paid when the company has allotted the shares and the company will ask the shareholder to pay a certain amount after the shares are allotted and all future installments after application and allotment are known as call money. So a company can have first call, second call, final call. There can be any number of calls made by the company depending on how the company wants to collect the money from its shareholders. To complete the share issue entries, a temporary account termed as share application or share application and allotment or even application for shares, etc. is open. This is used to track the collections from shareholders. The question will tell you exactly what account to use. The concept is the same. Doesn't matter what you call the account. So now let's directly understand what are the journal entries to be passed when a company issues shares and we will do so using a example directly. A limited company offers 100,000 ordinary shares of 
dollar zero point five. Whenever you see the term of, it means face value. So shares of zero point five, it means zero point five is the face value or the par value of the shares for public subscription. Applications were received for hundred and twenty thousand. I told you, it is not necessary that the company will receive applications for exactly the number of shares it has offered. This situation is known as oversubscription. Excess applications will have to be rejected, and the amount will have will have to be refunded back to the applicants. Amount on shares were payable as so installment basis. Application point two, allotment point two, and finally the call money point one. All amount due on allotment and call were received by the company. The share application account is opened. I told you the temporary account, right? So the account termed here is share application account. will have to be opened and we'll have to make the necessary ledger accounts before the ledger accounts let's understand the journal entries okay before going to the journal entries i would want you to note down some details important details from this question so that when you do the journal entries it is very easy for you okay before going ahead i would want you to note down the important details from this question because when i do the journal entries it will be easy for you so company offered 100000 shares it received applications for 120000 shares and you will also have to note down the value of different installments see what's the first step at the time of issue of shares the company will have to issue a prospectus which is an offer to the public that you can come and apply to our shares and then the company will receive applications for shares and along with the applications the shareholder will pay the application money so the first step is the receipt of application money from the shareholders whenever the company is receiving the application money obviously the bank account will be debited and the temporary account share application account is credited here how did i get 24000 120000 shares applications were received i told you right the company received applications for 120000 shares and for each share shareholders have paid 0.2 per share because that's the application money what is the amount due on application money 0.2 so 120000 shares into 0.2 24000 so this would be the first journal entry that would be passed by the company once the company receives applications for shares the next step is that it has to allot the shares again i told you the allotment will not be for more than 100000 shares so whatever is not allotted will have to be refunded back to the shareholders so the journal entry here would be first of all the temporary account that was opened here 24000 dollars was credited this account will have to be debited back and we'll have to close that account temporary account means you just open it for the time being to record the collections from shareholders that is closed first we understand what is bank credit bank is credited here to refund the 20000 extra applications so 20000 into 0.2 per share 4000 is credited and whatever applicants you've allotted shares that will have to be transferred to the ordinary share capital because that's the permanent share capital account so 100000 shares shares allotted multiplied by 0.2 application money so this completes our second journal entry going to the third entry once the company has allotted the shares it will then ask the shareholders to pay the allotment money so here the company will have to make the allotment money due and the entry that is passed is share application account the temporary account is opened and debited with 20000 why 20000 100000 shares and allotment money was 0.2 per share and the permanent capital account the ordinary share capital account is credited with 20000 next when the shareholders pay the allotment money obviously bank account will be debited and the temporary account that was opened 20000 it is closed by again crediting it with 20000 dollars there is one very important difference between the sequence of entries at the time of application and the sequence of entries at the time of allotment and all future calls at the time of application if you see the money was received first and then the amount was credited to the share capital because at the time of application the company is never sure how many applications will it be receiving from shareholders so it can never credit the share capital account first first it will have to wait for shareholders to apply and pay the money and then in the second entry we've transferred the amount to the permanent capital account and made it a part of the capital of the company but for all future allotment and calls you see that the you can directly credit the share capital account first because now the shareholders are confirmed you company knows that it will be receiving the allotment money from them and later on as and when the shareholders pay it can credit the share application account and close the account next the company will ask the shareholders to pay the call money due 
again same entry that was used at the time of allotment the share application account is debited 100,000 shares into 0.1 which is the call money per share and the share capital account is credited here the amount is actually made a part of the permanent capital of the company so $10,000 Next, when the shareholders pay the call money, bank account would be debited 10,000 and the share application account, which was the temporary account here debited and here credited and eventually closed. So the share application account, which I told you is the temporary account, there is never a balance left in that account. It is debited and credited always with the same account, same amount and the balance is nil always. So now if I tell you to prepare a ledger account, you know the journal entries, it is very simple to prepare the ledger accounts. Share application, the company first received the application money for 120,000 shares, 24,000. Out of that, it rejected 4,000 and made 20,000 a part of permanent capital by allotting 100,000 shares. So that is here. Next, the company made the allotment money due by passing this entry where the share application account was debited and the share capital account was credited. And later on when it received the application or sorry allotment money 20,000 was credited to the share application account. Again the third set of entry was for calls when the company made the call money due and later on when it received the call money it credited the share application account and the share application account was closed and eventually the company received $50,000 by issue of shares. I hope the way I've made you understand the journal entries and then ledger it is okay for you, you've understood the concept. If I directly try to explain you the ledger accounts, it will be very difficult for me and it will be very difficult for you to understand the sequence of debits and credits. So the previous example was for shares issued at par. Now we will see one more example where the shares are issued at premium. Uh, premium shares issued at premium means the issue price is more than the par value. A limited company offers 60,000 ordinary shares of dollars one. Off means this is the face value or the power value at a price of 1.25 per share. So the issue price is 1.25, the power value is one. So obviously the difference of 0.25 per share is the premium per share. Applications were received for 80,000 shares. This is also a case of oversubscription of shares. Excess applications were to be refunded back to the applicants. The amount payable here is 0.4 on application 0.5 on allotment including premium so out of the 0.5 the premium is 0.25 i've already told you that the premium is 0.25 so obviously the difference of 0.15 will be the face value included sorry 0.25 included in the allotment as face value and the call money is 0.35 Again, I would want you to note down all these details because later on when I do the journal entries, it will be easy for you. 60,000 offered, 80,000 received, face value 1, issue price 1.25, premium 0.25 and the breakup of different installments. Let us directly jump to the journal entries. First, company will receive the application money from the shareholders. Shareholders have applied for 80,000 shares, application money 0.4 per share. So bank account debit 32,000, share application account credit 32,000. Later on when the company allots the shares, it can allot at the most only 60,000 shares to applicants. So the balance 20,000 shares, the money for that will be refunded. So the bank account is credited by 8,000 for that and the share capital is credited for the 60,000 shares that have been allotted to the shareholders and the temporary account of Share application 32,000 has been closed. Earlier it was credited by 32,000. Now it is debited by 32,000. Next, the company will ask the shareholders to pay the allotment money. Allotment money was 0.5 per share. So number of shares are 60,000. The share application account will be debited by the total of 30,000. 60,000 shares into 0.5. I told you the 0.5 per allotment money per share is made up of 0.5, 0 0.25 as premium and 0.25 as face value. Remember one thing, the share capital account is always credited only with the face value and not with the premium amount. The premium amount goes to a separate account which is the share premium account. So 0.25 face value credited to the ordinary share capital, 60,000 into 0.25 and the balance 0.25 credited to the share premium account, 60,000 into 0.25. So this completes our third entry. Next, the company would be receiving the allotment money from shareholders. So bank account would be debited by 30,000 and the share application account will be credited. The temporary account is closed, opened here in the first entry, closed in the second entry. 
the company will make the call money due the share application account will be debited and the ordinary share capital account will be credited there is no premium in the call money so entire amount is just the face value so entire amount goes to the share capital account 60000 into 0.35 company will receive the applic sorry call money bank account would be debited and the share application account will be credited so this completes the journal entries for the second example i would want you to do the ledger accounts on your own the concept is the same try to transfer the entries or the journal entries to the ledger accounts and see if you can do it the share capital account will have a balance of 60000 shares into 1 dollar 60000 should be the balance carried down in the share capital account the share premium account should have a balance carried down of 60000 shares into 0 0.25 which is 15000 dollars if these two are matching it means your ledger accounts are correct assuming that you've transferred all the entries correctly so these were the concepts that you need to know for share issue entries in the next video we will cover the meaning of bonus shares and right shares we will also understand the entries that are to be passed at the time of issue of such shares if you enjoyed the video please like the video please share the video with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon you will be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for being there i'll see you soon